Well, some would argue this is the deepest division in the UFC right now. 145 pounds, a lot of killers at the top. This man has emerged out of the pack and gets his much-deserved title shot here tonight. From the moment he got to the UFC, he told us we were viewing someone that could make an impact, a future champion that will remind us of the great featherweight champ Max Holloway, Jose Aldo Jr. He said, I am special. I will be a champion one day tonight gets the opportunity. Let's see if he can cash in. Now it appeared as though the weight cut was a little bit difficult. He did not want to hear that noise, but that is behind him. And we'll see how it goes for him here on Saturday night. Just about Good. to get underway. Good. All right, here we go. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Five rounds if needed for the UFC featherweight championship of the world. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Watch the strike there. Counters with a jab. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Missed with that attempt. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Sneaky body kick lands onto the elbow. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seats. These guys are getting after it. with the left hook nicely done there he's throwing bombs every time they come into contact he is throwing bombs oh great block there oh another nice combination there not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was but he is in a flow state here oh he is moving and grooving tonight he's feeling good but look at the footwork look at the fainting of the shoulders and then when he starts right he may not go right away but when he goes it's going to be an extended combination watch for him to try to really set down to the last punch to end this fight stuff the takedown no problem Ooh, pretty good uppercut we have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round Back and forth we go. Lands a strike there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Not resting in the clinch, being very active and landing a beautiful punch there from the clinch position. Checks the leg kick. 
Two minutes now to go. Nice punch to make the top. Good body shot to land there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hand. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming in. Ooh, that head kick landed. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice inside kick. Circling to his right. And again, he goes back to that inside leg kick. Under a minute now to go in round one. And once again, looking for that highlight real KO with that front kick. That was great. Nice. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Nice block. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Five minutes in the books. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body. Work in the he did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, man, hit two lands. Kick. Style points on that one. And now the jab gets through. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Great job blocking that one. Oh, beautiful counter. Nice straight right lands. Just over three minutes to go. Nice leg kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Head 
kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Right hand, yup. He gets to the single collar guy. Look for him to strive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Two minutes. Closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Good speed. Under a minute to go in the round. It's work, guys. Come on. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice jab. Beautiful job landing that head kick. Great left hand. Final seconds here of round two. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, Ready but fight. the big moment Ready. was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Nice straight right hand. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Snapping off that jab. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. 
Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, Superman punch! Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh! Oh! With authority, the body. seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Kick to the body now. That one won't go. Big take up. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Big ground and pound. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Heavy leather left on both sides in that exchange. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, that right eye's looking pretty swollen now. Might be shot before too long. Push kick there to the body. Need to work. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, nice kick. Under 20 seconds now to go. Just missed with the leg kick. Final seconds of round three. Let's work. Huh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill ready, battle ahead of him. You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five, five and rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing his kick over and over again. Another leg kick lands. Circling to his right. Nice stupid punch. Slip 
Gets the punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Back and forth we go. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Click with a right hand counter. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Under three minutes here to go in the round. That high kick will get you spinning. Great landing. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Nice body shot there. You can catch a body kick, but you've got to step off the side. Just can't take it clean. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, Superman punch is good. Well, you see him cringing now as the body damage just continues to pile up. He hasn't made the adjustments, and I wouldn't even hate a stoppage here. No, I wouldn't hate a stoppage here. This guy's been beat up. Like, he hasn't adjusted at all. This started at the very start of the fight, and it continued to the point now that it seems as though it's an eventuality that the fight will be stopped due to body damage. Tremendous game plan, and it worked perfectly. Big right hook there by the champ. Under a minute to go. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Nice combination by the champ. Not there. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw... Oh! oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Throws the teeth. Oh, Superman punch lands. He's cut. Get the elbow. Well, 
Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the back. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. The straight right is there. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Outstanding job finding a place for that knee. Just misses with that one. Oh man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. He's cut. Give me elbow. Oh, big left hand there. a takedown attempt. One minute to go in the fight. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. Takedown defense holds up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, nice. nice. Final seconds of this fight. Heavy kick late from the champ. Cards, one of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight, and we are all proud to call him new UFC champion. The 
the official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 49-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Asai.